Walter Longo es bioquímico y ha dedicado toda su carrera en el Instituto de la Longevidad de California, de la Universidad de Southern California, a estudiar la dieta, el ayuno y el envejecimiento y cómo están relacionados con nuestra calidad de vida. Usted ha hecho famoso el concepto de mini ayuno. ¿Cómo lo define? I would say do 12 eat within 12 hours. You you're gonna hear lots of podcasters saying 18 hours is better, but 18 hours if you skip breakfast as most people do is gonna make your life shorter based on many studies. So don't skip breakfast, eat breakfast and and stay within 12 hours. Yes, you're gonna get less benefits, but you're gonna be able to do it for the rest of your life in Spain, you know, most people eat at 10 p.m. Let's say 10 a.m. you start breakfast, 10 p.m. you finish your dinner, and most people can do that for the rest of their life, no problem, right? ¿Usted practica el ayuno? ¿Cuándo y cómo? I skip lunch most of the time. So I'll have a coffee for lunch or like a very healthy snack, some nuts or something like that. That's my lunch, right? And this is the way I control my weight. Very, you know, and so I might, you know, I could go, let's say, three or four weeks without lunch. Then if I start losing weight, and that's usually my problem, then I go back to having lunch regularly, and then I go back and, and stabilize. Most people in Spain, Italy, United States, either tend to gain weight, so you're worried I'm going to gain weight, or, or already overweight, or already uh, obese, right? So for that, don't skip breakfast, skip lunch, it's the easiest one. For some people, you might skip dinner, but there's more uncertainty on the dinner skipping. ¿Lo que comes determina cuánto vives? I don't think um, it's about food quantity at all. You know, in fact, I think it's eating a lot, actually, of a pescatarian diet that is um, mostly, there's very rich in legumes, right? In Norway, came up with a huge study published in Plus Medicine a few months ago, And sure enough, the legumes were number one for life expectancy increase. The more legumes you had, the 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 you know the longer uh, lifespan you had. The worst one was red meat. Not surprisingly, fruit fairly neutral, you know, and and whole grains, and then uh, nuts. Um, uh, you know, they were they were in. so. It's like uh, you know, as I've been preaching, a modified very modified Mediterranean diet, right? Entonces, basta con el mantra de la dieta mediterránea, aceite de oliva, frutos secos, o añadiría usted algo más? It's about um, modulating the level of certain amino acids by having legumes and maybe fish three times a week, and, and really, um, you know, looking at the rate of aging, but also the rate of muscle depletion, bone density decrease, strength decrease. It's a very complex, um, you know, decision uh, or set of decisions that should make you live very long, live very strong, cognitively not, in, not impaired and uh, um, in, in very functional. Pero sirve igual para todo el mundo a todas las edades? For example, age 0 to 20, Mediterranean diet is very good, right? No problem. 20, move to the longevity diet and start paying attention to muscle, bones, growth, you know, residual growth, et cetera, et cetera, and health. Uh, in within the longevity diet, pay attention because you could be allergic to soy. You could be allergic to tomatoes. If you happen to be you know, intolerant to walnuts, I'm going to make your life miserable or, or, or celiac, you know, intolerant to gluten or autoimmune to gluten. So now you gotta start paying attention to, to, to everything. No nos puede dar algunas recomendaciones más allá de la dieta mediterránea. Of course, exercise, uh, I say 150 minutes a week, and then another one hour of, uh, you know, walking every day and just being physical. You know, all the centenarians I talked to, they were shepherds, they were farmers, they were people that were very active. Whatever they did, you know, they just, did it themselves, you know, and carry bags and did things all the time. And yeah, I think that that's, uh, we're abandoning that. We're like almost everything now is going to be done by some machine, you know, and, um, and that's a problem. So, so yeah, so those are, 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 are things that I think can, can make a big, big difference in people's, uh, 
you know, biological age and also uh, disease risk.